Ricky, Ricky Birdsong Awards. Uh, we're going to have a, a packed program today of some phenomenal speakers and some great uh, inspirational stories to share with you all. So thank you all for coming. My name is Scott Marcott. I'm your IFI president. And um, before we get started with the, uh, the sessions and, and lunch and all, I'd like to introduce you to our master of ceremonies. He's going to be uh, taking us through the entire afternoon. Uh, the program that you've got, you can see in front of you, but some pretty impressive things that we're going to be sharing. Um, this familiar face that you're about to see has been with ABC7 since 1982. Currently anchors the 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. weekday newscast. He was the first to anchor ABC7's morning newscast, which is a position, position that he held from 1989 to 1994. And impressively, every newscast he has anchored has consistently been rated number one in Chicago. No surprise. <laughs> Would you please join me in welcoming a great friend of the guy, Brian Well, thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone, and it's just a pleasure to be with you once again. You know, before we got started today, and just conversations on the side, we've been talking about a little bit about the difference that people make in the lives of others. And in addition to that, of course, on our newscast, unfortunately, we deal with a lot of negative type things that uh, are unpleasant to talk about. Not that they are unimportant. In fact, they are quite important that we pay attention to those things. But today, we're going to be lifting you up with some positive stories of inspiration. And I know right in this room, we've got individuals who are responsible for making a difference positively in the lives of others. And as many of you know, the Illinois Fatherhood Initiative stands specifically for that, for those people who are, who are quite frankly, championing, champ is that a word? Champion, I just made it one of his. Uh, the role of individuals, uh, in this case, of course, we're talking about men, but men and women who are, who are making a difference in the lives of young people. Uh, somebody asked me earlier, how long have I been involved in this? I can't tell you how long it's been, but it's been a while. Oh, that's, I know that's really vague, isn't it? But uh, it's been a while. And uh, since uh, David Hirsch first brought it to my attention, uh, I, I said, yes, I want to be a part of that. And I'll just tell you just it, a, a little snippet right here. Some of you may know the story, but I'll just tell you just a little bit of it. As a young man myself, I grew up without a father in my household. Uh, actually, we, uh, my family, uh, we had a crime, uh, and my father was a victim of, of violence. Uh, so I didn't have a dad growing up. But I did have individuals in my own life who came forward, and maybe they, didn't, they weren't intentional in terms of mentoring Alan, but individuals who came forward and were instrumental in my life in making differences along the way. It may have been a five minute long conversation, it may have been repeated conversations along the way, but it makes a difference in the lives of young people who, in many cases, they may not even realize it, but are desperately in need of somebody to, to make that, I'll call it an intervention, in some cases it is, for me it was, but to make that difference in a person's life. So. That's why I'm here, and I'm just thrilled to share this moment with you today. We've got some, some great opportunities today for you to hear inspiring stories about other people today. You're going to hear from our Youth Essay winner, Destiny, today. Yeah, hold on. We, we met each other 10 seconds, but I, I can tell there's a humility here, but you're going to knock it out of the park, so I can hardly wait to hear. And of course, we're going to honor our Ricky Birdsong Award winners today, and it's going to be a thrill to hear about their stories and have them share a little bit with you as well. Before we go any further, though, with lunch, I do want to just mention a couple individuals that I want to remember today, because we have two great dads and friends of IFI who passed away recently, and I think it's fair just to take a moment here to talk about them and remember them. First of all, uh, Warner Saunders, a colleague, of course, a journalistic colleague of mine. Uh, Warner passed away on October 12th. Uh, Warner was an honorary father of the year in 2001. And then, of course, recently, Philip Jackson, uh, who was on the IFI Board of Advisors and so instrumental in, in Chicago uh, with the Black Star Project and, and, and other efforts that he had. And Phil passed away on November 5th. Just join me for just a moment remembering them, and in particular now, of course, their families and all the lives they touched that they might be lifted today. Just pause for just a moment. Thank you very much. Well, you have your salads in front of you. Enjoy your salads, and we'll get going with the program in a little bit. So we'll begin our lunch, and uh, we'll be back with you shortly. Thank you very much. Thank you. 